aside. Um, remember that things don't happen overnight. We need to constantly evolve the equipment that we're using, and that's what a lot of us in this room do and have done in the past to better understand our planet. So we were in Sardinia last year uh, working on our project. We collected eDNA from three different cave systems in the region. Um, after sequencing, the results showed DNA from over 250 different species, everything from plankton, dinoflagellants, to uh, insects, bugs, spiders, uh, humans. Um, we also found DNA from two non-native fish species in the region that are um, uh, native to the Indo-Pacific region. And we also found DNA from an extinct species of bovine in the cave system from multiple of our replicates. The cattle species that we found went extinct in about 1608 and is never known to have existed on the island of Sardinia. It was native to um, mainland Europe. Um, there was also 1,300 species that we're, we're, we were unable to identify due to various different reasons. Um, we just only have like a class, a... Um, not a direct uh, relative that we can compare to. Um, we didn't get quality DNA, it was damaged or anything else. So there's obviously techniques and changes that we can make in the future to improve these results. So here's some data from the expedition. I uh, know it's super exciting, right? Yeah, it's real exciting for me too. I think it's fun. Um, but we can learn a lot of different things. So we've got the raw genetic information here on this side. We then have our kingdom um, level of identification, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and then finally the species. And we can get lots of information from this. We can track invasive species inside of environments without physically seeing them. We can also track novel um, diseases in cave systems, bacteria. Um, we can understand the richness of an environment, so how many different species are within that environment, and the abundance, how many of those species are in the cave system. So how are underwater caves and the health of our ocean connected? Well, in environments like Sardinia, it's pretty obvious because those cave systems, we enter from the ocean into these cave systems. A lot of the nutrients are flowing in from the ocean into these cave systems, and so they're reliant heavily on the health of those low-lying marine ecosystems. If the health of those systems decline, there's lower nutrients, higher algae contents, lower plankton levels, some of those um, algae species on the rock, the fish species die off, then it directly affects the health and well-being of those species inside those cave systems because they rely on those for nutrients and survival. It can also help us understand our ocean better. Our ocean is one of the least explored places on our planet, right? We know more about space and terrestrial environments um, and other planets than we do our own planet, especially our blue planet, our ocean. They're a perfect laboratory. We can understand genetic diversity and help understand evolution and adaptation. So how do these species evolve to survive in these environments? 